At 10, accused criminals could soon get a free pass if Kansas lawmakers don't act to extend the governor's COVID-related state of emergency. KCTV 5's Betsy Webster is live at the Johnson County Courthouse to explain why and what's at stake. Betsy? Well, Brad, you've probably heard the phrase, the right to a speedy trial. That's what's at the heart of all this. I'm over here on the east entrance of the courthouse because it's the only entrance you can go through right now. And if you look at the door, you can see all kinds of signs about restrictions that are in place due to COVID. And that has made it hard to keep up with cases. Everybody wants justice to be done in a timely manner. Johnson County DA Steve Howe says getting that done with all the health restrictions in place requires redefining what's speedy. Our ability to do in-person hearings has pretty much been shut down. Here in Johnson County, they have a virtual system for hearings, but a jury trial is another story, and Kansas courts are still working out logistics. The biggest challenge is bringing in hundreds of jurors to do jury selection. Uh, no longer are we going to be able to pack the courtroom with, you know, 60, 70, 80 jurors. Kansas law defines a speedy trial as 150 days for someone in custody and 180 days, about six months, for someone not in custody. When we Governor Laura Kelly declared a state of emergency in March, that set the stage for a pause That's to be put on the ticking secretary. clock for speedy trial. The governor's office said today she plans to extend or initiate a new state of emergency declaration. But it would need to be approved by a group of state house leaders known as the Finance Council. And the GOP heavy group has been at odds with the Democrat governor over some of the executive orders that followed the first declaration. That's why the Kansas County and District Attorneys Association sent this letter to the council expressing a, quote, dire need to extend this order and noting that, quote, defendants are aware that their case might be dismissed if they just wait long enough. And when we shut down, we had 90 jury trials stacked up. He now has 18 murders or attempted murders and 30 other serious felonies like robberies and sex crimes pending. It will require um, more than 150 days to dig out of this. I did contact the um, email, I should say, the members of the Finance Council who represent this area to see if they had any remarks about this, and I have not heard back from them yet. The declaration of emergency expires on the 15th. The next council meeting is scheduled for Thursday. Reporting live in Olathe, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.